a lot of times we have opportunities come to us, but because we're planning the worst case scenario, we're not ready for those good opportunities. We're not ready to capture the moment and be lucky. I am here in one of the places I used to visit in Michoacan, Morelia. Super happy I'm here. <laughs> I find that we, because sometimes I do it too, more than I want to. I find that we plan very elaborate and intricate plans that have to do with the worst case scenario. Let me give you an example. Let's say I'm not doing well in my job and all I am planning is, oh my God, they're gonna fire me. What am I gonna do if I'm fired? And we don't think that planning for, for a future that is negative, destructive, fear-based is the wrong way to go. If anything, let's say your bills are due next month and you have no money. Do not plan for not having any money. Make plans to receive the money. What does that mean? That means write down what you would like to happen next month. Write down the things, how you're gonna feel next month. If you're gonna feel worried and anxious next month because you can't pay your rent, then write down the feelings that you wanna feel. And from now until the, the rent is due, you plan and you imagine yourself having enough, having more than enough. Most people like to plan for a destructive future. You know, our relationship is not going well. Oh, what am I gonna do without them? How about you envision the relationship going well? And if the relationship is not for you, envision the highest probability for you to receive love, receive the love that you desire, receive the love that will help you grow. I remember I used to plan, <laughs> I used to plan arguments. <laughs> I sometimes kind of do. <laughs> um, I used to plan, what am I gonna do when the money runs out? I used to plan, what am I gonna do when I have to confront this person? I used to plan all these things instead of planning what am I gonna buy next month because the money's not gonna run out instead of planning how is this relationship gonna help me grow or what is gonna what good is gonna come out of this this relationship that I think I have to have a negative um, interaction with like I planned the negative worst case scenarios and what happened is I got them I got negative worst case scenarios in my life lately I've been planning, even if I see that the present moment is atrocious, <laughs> it feels like, oh my God, what, what the fuck am I going to do? I, I don't plan that. I plan, oh, next month, man, it's going to be good. Ah, oh, next month, I'm going to receive the money that I need and want. Ah, uh, next month, I'm going to receive, I'm going to have the people that I, re that I need in my life to accomplish the things that I want. Like I plan for those things and I plan for those opportunities. And that means that I'm ready for them. A lot of times we have opportunities come to us, but because we're planning the worst case scenario, we're not ready for those good opportunities. We're not ready to capture the moment and be lucky because that's what luck is. Preparation and opportunity, they meet and they marry. That's what luck is. But you, on you can only be lucky if you expect good things to come to you if you expect good opportunities to come to you. So stop planning for negative things to come to you. Start planning good things, a good life. Get ready for it. I hope you like this video, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.